What is up guys? It has been far too long. Andrew Sudoku back bringing you some manga updates that I've uh, been getting into. Uh, it's it's literally been like, I want to say three months. That's pretty crazy. Um, if you want to know where I've been, I'm going to put another video in the description of this video uh, that kind of goes in more depth. No manga though, just like me talking, explaining myself if you will. But. Without further ado, I'm going to crack into this. Um, I got a lot of manga uh, since we have been apart. And uh, this is this is the bulk of it right here. Well, it's not the bulk of it. This is this is new stuff that I've gotten. I've gotten a lot of used stuff. There was a library sale uh, that I went to, and they had a ton of manga, which they usually don't. So I, I went crazy. I kind of filled up like, uh, like, you know those, they had... What's it called? Copy paper. Copy paper? Like computer paper? One of the boxes of those things come in? So I filled up one of those of manga and bought it and it was so cheap. It's all a little bit beat up because it is, I mean, it is library copies. All this stuff, uh, well, most of this stuff was bought at Barnes & Noble online because of their Manga Monday sale. So any of you who take advantage of Manga Monday, you, you can ignore this part of the conversation, but Manga Monday, for those who don't know, and I'm still kind of getting used to it myself, uh, certain manga titles, there's like usually five to seven a week every Monday, um, they are cut in half, half price, uh, and you get to buy them. And if you have an account, it's free shipping. So it's kind of, you'd be stupid not to do it, especially if you're collecting some of them anyway. And uh, Regardless, uh, and then you combine that with like 20% off coupon and crap like that that just normally comes through Barnes & Noble. This is some Barnes & Noble crap that I've gotten. Uh, this is Tohyo Game. Uh, there's the cover there. It's $15. Uh, Re uh, Yen Press publishes it. Immediately I noticed that it's $50 and I go, oh, because it shouldn't be. Yen Press is usually like 13 right? They're charging you an extra two dollars for the height. These are not the the standard height of manga. So this is this is Get Backers Volume 20. I'm going to use it as an example. They come up about that far. They're about that further back. Um, I don't like this. Not only does it mess up the shelves that I've already kind of predetermined, but more and more uh, manga publishers are printing larger volumes. And not only do they not fit my hands as well, but they're charging more. I liked it when Tokyo Pop manga was 10 bucks and Back when Shonen Jump was eight. Uh, and I mean, they've escalated in price now. I'm totally cool paying 13, I'm not totally cool, but I'm fine paying $13 a manga for new, um, which I don't hardly do anyway, unless there's a sale or something like that. But the, 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 the large size of these kind of annoy me. Um, Viz Signature's doing it, you've got uh, Yen Press doing it with the new Fruits Basket volume, Prison School, stuff like that. Um, so anyway, let me know what your thoughts about the large size of the volume. Anyway, what uh, Toyo Game is, it's about, uh, well, there's like a contest, and if you're losing the contest, you get killed. A um, little bit Death Note-y, it takes place in a school. This is volume 2, I didn't show you that one. Haven't busted into this one, it's still in the saran wrap. Um, they are mature, and I would also agree with that rating, so there's that. This is Fate Zero, Volume 4, uh, and I haven't even started reading this series yet, but it was half price, yo, so like, originally it's 12 bucks, got it for 6, that's definitely a good deal. And uh, I was collecting, I got the other three, the first three, um, during their buy two get one free sale, so I was like, why not, right? This is Ultraman 7, and I don't actually have Ultraman 6, um, as some of you may know, and that's kind of funny, uh, it also kind of sucks, because that means that I missed a release, um, that I, I thought I was up to date and I wasn't, but, uh, Ultraman is an awesome series, if you guys haven't gotten into that, I would highly recommend that, at least checking it out, the art's really good, uh, the story's really cool, and it comes from a long line of Ultraman stuff. Um, which I never got into at first, so this is cool for me to like kind of get into it. The rebirth of Ultraman. This is uh, Gundam Thunderbolt. This is the second volume there. And this one is the first of the few that I've reviewed so far that actually have a cool back cover, so I'm going to show you that too. 
Um, but Gundam is awesome, doesn't matter what kind of Gundam, when, except SD Gundam, I wouldn't recommend that. But, like, the majority of Gundam is really cool, it's got color pages. Uh, again, though, it's big because uh, we're doing this signature, and the signature editions are just larger, so it does throw your books out of whack. Again, get backers to compare, it's just that standard new side. This is becoming, like I said, this is becoming more and more prevalent. Uh, for example, now we have Cells at Work, and this is by Kodansha, which thankfully they kept the price down because Kodansha is awesome. This is 13 bucks. Gundam was 15? 15. So 15, and they're the same damn size. So I don't know why Kodansha, uh, and like, and it still feels good. Maybe the color page is up at a couple dollars, but we still have color pages in Cells at Work. Cells at Work is kind of like I don't know if you guys saw Osmosis Jones, but it's a little bit like that I can relate it to. Every character is a cell in a human body, um, and like the white blood cells fight, and it's bloody and gross, and then like the red blood cells have to move stuff from point A to point B. I don't know a damn thing about biology, uh, but uh, it's, it's a cute manga, it's cool, it's fun. Um, this is another one that is, it's not cute, and it's not fun. Uh, this is the girl from the other side. Um, the art is very dark and it's very creepy. And uh, there's there's that. Published by I don't even know Seven Seas. Okay, so that means it's like twelve, thirteen, thirteen bucks. Um, and uh, I'm I'm very um, I'm very excited to read more into this. In fact, of the ones we've reviewed so far that I have read. Um, I'm more interested in this than any of the other ones. Uh, it's, it's a, it's like a fairy tale, almost. Um, but the, the, the art is really dark and creepy and, well, let me see if I can find a good picture. Um, but at the same time, being dark and creepy, the, the protagonist is this little, like, five, six-year-old girl. Um, but there's not really good imagery. The, the panels are all very small, um, they're very detailed, it's kind of a good picture. Very detailed panels, uh, the art's good, but it is weird, it's not like anything that I've seen before. Maybe it's just, maybe that's it, maybe it's just, it's refreshing for me to, to not read the same stuff over and over again. Then we got Platinum End Volume 2, the bam and I've been waiting to get my hands on Platinum End Volume 2 for a long time, actually, ever since I read Platinum End Volume 1. And it's by the creators of Death Note. This is their third series together, I believe. I'm, like, 99% sure. Um, so it, the art is really good. And the story, for once, I'm not sold on yet. And so I, I wanted to read more before I made a final judgment call. So I haven't even... I haven't even look through this, I'm not going to, uh, because it can spoil something, you know how Death Note is. So I'm just gonna put, I'm putting that aside, but I will get back to you all on my, uh, my review, my, my, how I like it. Uh, this is I Am A Hero, uh, published by Dark Horse, oh sorry, Platinum Man was, I think 10 bucks, yeah, 10 bucks, just regular Shonen Jump, which is weird, I don't know if they're not doing Shonen Jump Advance anymore, this is rated M. It should be Shonen Jump Advance. There's that. And the first one, yeah, it was for sure that I have read. Uh, this is 20 bucks, but I, since Manga Mondays, it was like 10 something. I Am a Hero. Uh, it's an omnibus by Dark Horse. And uh, it's like a zombie apocalypse sort of scenario. I haven't finished the first volume yet, um, but the art's really good. It's really detailed. Um, but at the same time, it's not like. Kind of like, I would compare it to Naoki Urasawa, where it's not like the typical anime art, like the cool art, but it's still good, you know what I mean? Speaking of controversial art, we have Boruto, and I wasn't going to get this. In fact, some of you may remember a video that I did uh, in my car, like last year, complaining that they were even having a Boruto series, and I was pissed that they weren't going to just let... Naruto die and, and end, but I mean, here it is, and I bought it, no, don't get me wrong, also, Naruto's a great series, but it could be shortened here and there, and the fact that it ended and then 
Shonen Jump or whoever was like, yeah, we're just going to keep going with the kid. Kind of upset me. Um, in fact, it upset me a lot to the point where I was like, nope, F the series. But now I bought it. Bought it because, one, because I'm a collector and I collect things. Two, because it would be stupid to, I mean, I realized it was petty to exile myself from an entire series. Especially more Naruto. Three, I wanted to figure out, like, like what the hype was all about, because I know nothing about it, didn't watch the movie. Um, four, Dragon Ball Super is coming out. Uh, I believe the date is May 2nd. So we have less than a month before... Oh, shit. Don't hate me. I'm so sorry. That can stay there. We have less than a month before Dragon Ball Super comes out. And I'm still excited for Dragon Ball Super, and I don't want to have myself with that double standard of being like, F the new Naruto, but yes to the new Dragon Ball, so I, I'm accepting both of them graciously. Last but not least, we have Prison School Volume 6. Um, Prison School is published by Yen Press. Uh, it's 20 bucks, these editions are. They're wrapped in plastic for good reason. There's very uh, heavy, mature content in Prison School. Um, also, it's some of the funniest manga I've ever read, ever. So, if you don't mind a little sexual stuff, totally check out Prison School. So far, I've read all five that they have, so this new one came out just a little bit ago. Super excited to bust into that one. Good books! I think overall, let's let's check out the pile. It's sans Boruto. Um, so there's that. Like I said before, more videos are a coming. I've got a bunch of X library book videos that I'm gonna do. Well, maybe one, maybe two. There's a lot of books. I don't have to break it into two. Um, also, because they're all X library books, I want to kind of clean them up and make them look better to put on the shelves. So, I'm going to film myself kind of fixing them up how I would fix them up a kind of a manga repair shop, if you will, and I talked about that uh, a couple months back and there were some people that were very interested, so that's coming up soon. Um, I am finally ready to begin the library tours. I don't know what was kind of holding me back before, but I think things are more situated now and I'm okay with starting the tour series again. So there's that, and there's lots more new stuff. The last ones were, are close to two years old by now, so that's kind of crazy. Um, anyway, I hope you guys are all doing super awesome. I'm doing well, I'm doing excellent, I feel great, so I hope you are too. Thanks for hanging out with me as always. Let me know what you think about the pile uh, in the comments below. If you dig it, if you don't, any recommendations I'm always for. Um, and uh, I guess that's about it. So thank you for watching and hope you're all having a good one. Later. Oh. I have missed juice boxes, let me tell you.